Good morning, day two. Mr. Cheesy Pop. Hey everyone, it's Max. I'm about to uh, get in line here. Animal Kingdom day, so you know it's an early one. That's why uh, the sky looks early. Wow, the bus just showed up. Four minutes ahead of schedule. What is this, Disney? Oh, it's too early for that. Four minutes ahead of schedule. That is shocking. Let's get on the bus and uh, get to day two off to a great start, right? There's nothing like an Animal Kingdom early morning. Let me tell you guys. Mm. Here we are. Pre 7 a.m. It's the way to do it. This is a deck rope drop. This is the general stampede of humans where the animals look at us like we are idiots because, well, we are mostly. That is so pretty. <sighs> Ignore the running humans. <laughs> I do seriously wonder what the animals think of the, the stampede of humans running towards Flight of Passage. Are they like, chill out guys, it's the morning. This is the time when you're supposed to just chill and graze and eat, <laughs> right? Once again, I always talk about maximizing your day here. If you're staying at a Disney resort, you get to come in a half hour early. They opened the park 10 minutes earlier than that here. And now head to uh, Flight of Passage. By the way, I feel much more rested today. Last night, I, whew, I think the rain, that thunderstorm really kind of did me in. And I was just like, I'm done, man. <laughs> oh, why are we stopping here? Walk slow. That's a new walk slow announcement I just heard. Mmm. Mmm. This is one of the things that makes me so happy. That sun hitting me as I am about to go on Flight of Passage. Mm. I cannot wait. In case you don't know, I really love this. <laughs> if I could start every morning like that, I would. Can, we get, can I get one of those in, in, in my home? I just get my own personal flying banshee and the screen and the smell. I always like seeing how far the line goes back compared to when I joined it. That makes a lot of difference. So it's 8.08 a.m. now as I travel to my next destination, which is going to be the safari. And, you know, some people are just getting started. That's a 75-minute wait now. Huge difference in your entire day. All right, let's go see some animals. We've got baby hippo over there. Under the water. Oh. 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 Trail here. It's very peaceful. Oh, I I love this park so much. It really does feel like a, an, an escape. An amazing place to see hippos. There he is sleeping, and here's the other hippo. Mm. He's just collecting leaves as he goes along. This is amazing. <laughs> this is, whoa, I don't know if you could hear, but biggest gorilla, 450 pounds, this guy. Wow. And there's the oldest gorilla up there. He's 42. Hmm.
Once again, we are the Discovery Island Rovers. Have an awesome day, everyone. A little entertainment to get your day going there. I had to uh, get a little Starbucks to keep my day going because I was getting sleepy. <laughs> Let me tell ya. That'll happen when you wake up at crazy hours. Many days in a row. We've got a Kevin spotting. Oh my gosh. So neat. Well, this is awesome. Wow, I'm so glad I caught Pocahontas and Miko. So I'm making my way now over to the Finding Nemo show. Something new, yes! Uh, it is reopened. I have not seen it, obviously, since it's reopened. So I'm going to head on over here and see how I go about getting in line. Literally no one here. All right. <laughs> Am I that early? I think I'm rope dropping uh, Finding Nemo. I'm a half hour early, so I don't, like, uh, I think that's Kite Tales. Oh, yes. Splendor of Disney's The Lion King with a colorful kite display of high flying magic. And as you all know, what goes up must come down. Yes. So with Kite Tales now, they don't have ah, times no for it. Lagoon, it's just as we random. Are taking flight throughout the day. Oh yeah, brilliant stuff. All right, so I just watched it. That show is about a minute and a half long now. <laughs> uh, they cut that down so much that it's not even funny. They just played like a minute and a half of the circle of life. They flew around the thing for like a minute and uh, crash landed and that's the show. All right, that's it. Well, you know what it works is like a sporadic thing throughout the day. It's kind of fun, but I, I <laughs> just, the whole thing is, is a ridiculous show, but I'm so glad I caught it because it is sporadic now. You just don't know when it's going to happen. <sighs> okay, well, that was great. A little coffee in the shade with some kite tails. Day is, I love this place. Love it. All right, so just finished up Kite Tales and now we get to go to Nemo. I'm getting in line. This is a really great morning, huh? let me tell you. And very chill, you know? That's what I love so much about this place. I love getting to just chill. I love the whole entire feel of this park. And now I'm gonna get to see something new. This is great. They redid the Nemo show. So I'm excited to see the changes, see what they did. I will for sure have a good seat. Look, look at my, I mean, there's hardly anyone in front of me. Not bad. So with Nemo, they will let you in 15 minutes before showtime. I got here, obviously, too early, <laughs> half hour before. <laughs> but yeah, you got to see Kite Tales. All right, well, I'm gonna go enjoy this rest of my coffee and Nemo. All right, so we're heading into Nemo. This is the theater. We're going into what they call the bubble zone. <laughs> All right, so I'm in my seat. I'm in the last row of the bubble zone. Finding Nemo show was so cute. I really, really enjoyed it. It's a 25 minute show. I think it used to be 35, so they've cut about 10 minutes off. But you know what? Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was just still super magical and you know all the performers are so talented so i loved it now i am doing single rider of expedition everest i didn't even know they had it still so uh i'm in the queue right now the wait was 45 so i'm uh we'll see how long i wait i'll let you know what a great ride single rider less than 15 minutes it took to go through that not bad as opposed to the 45 posted wait time. Now I put my name on the walk-up wait list for Nomad, obviously. I didn't rope drop it. I actually put my name on the walk-up wait list on the mobile app. Uh, it's at 45 minutes. Timing is perfect. It's uh, meeting Matt and Shannon again to go to my fave, Nomad. Here it is. Matt and Shannon are walking up right now. Oh, I see them. This is great. Let's go eat and drink.
a tempting tigress. And there it is, my fave forever, the tempting tigress. And speaking of faves, it's Matt and Shannon again. Hi, Hi. guys. <laughs> tempting tigress for Matt. Shannon went with the... All right. Yeah. Really good. Good stuff. Very light. Yeah. yeah. This place really is the best. Yeah. Because yeah. of this. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. You the view. <laughs> I'll show them. <laughs> Look at that view. Oh, oh no. That was, that was great. Oh, okay. You are fantastic. Hey, yeah. <laughs> but that's the view. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We love it here. Look at all this beautiful food. We got the tuna poke bowl. We got the sliders. We got the poke bowl, but gluten free. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing thing about this place is that they always will cater to whatever kind of dietary restrictions you have. So let's eat. And there's a view again. The best churros in Disney World are here. And you know, the key is you have to combine the dipping sauces. This is the ultimate key. And they're gluten free. Mm. Go. Mm. Wow, the coffee one. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm. Hey. You know, I think I'm gonna remember you. Nomad was wonderful. Now we're walking off the nomad food at the Maharaja Jungle Trek. This is a great place to see uh, tigers. You can see tigers and other things. Tigers are not out. They are very smart. They do not want to be in this ridiculous heat. They have the right idea, yeah. Taking the advice of the tigers and all the other animals that were not out and getting out of here. Go, this is too hot, but I did everything I wanted to do. Perfect Animal Kingdom day. Back and pop. Mr. Cheesy Pop. Yeah. How could I not do it while we're here? There's so much, there's so much pop. Pop, 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 pop. Mr. Cheesy Pop, uh, this is my hotel. It's a fine hotel. What would my decade be though? I feel most attached to the 90s, I would say. Yeah, I'm staying in the 50s room. I love the decor of that era, 50s, 60s decor. Um, but I feel very attached to the things that happened in the 90s as far as the music, the entertainment, the Disney, the Epcot, you know what I mean? So um, if we could combine those two, that'd be great. Yeah. I don't know. What's your pop era? Pop. What? <laughs> All right, I'm back at my hotel. Uh, I'm going to freshen up now and chill for a little bit. And then Disney Springs tonight. I'm in the Pop Century store and I just found this, which I actually also just found the original shirt at my parents' house when I was just there. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> Ignore my really terrible sweaty hair, but like I just got back to my room and this is an, an example of how the grind never ends. There's like a whole bunch of uh, voiceover auditions that I like need to get to. And so uh, travel mic, we do our thing. Um, so I'm not going as hardcore as I usually do, but uh, this sometimes happens for me where I have to audition in the hotel room. I've done it many a time in Disney, so yeah, yeah, doing that. Hello, all clean and ready. Yeah, okay. I'm at Disney Springs. Uh, my Wine Bar George reservation, yes, Wine Bar George, is in an hour, so I'm just, um, Killing some time here. I gotta go pick up an orange bird, like pass holder magnet. That's something I wanna do. Uh, it's thundering. <laughs> I did bring my poncho. But yes, it's thundering, and uh, we could be in for the same thing as yesterday. It was right around this time. Goodness gracious. Okay, we'll see what happens. Wait, but why am I always walking towards the storm? Ugh. See, this is the second day in a row. Oh look, I found it and I'm getting rained on. Good news, I got my magnet. It's wonderful. It also, you can do this orange bird scavenger hunt. Really cute, there's like orange birds placed all over Disney Springs. So I got it, great news. Bad news is that it's raining. We'll, we'll figure this out. 
Well, while I wait out the rain, this is really cool. Get to watch an artist sketch and they put it on the TV over here, Monica Willis. This is really neat. Wow. Wine Bar George Reservation very soon and it is Florida. I mean, luckily I had my poncho in my pocket because I'm smart. Poncho in my pocket. Let, let me tell you guys, get, get yourself some shorts that you could fit a poncho in. Oh look, it's Thomas Kincaid stuff, I love it. All right, uh, I'm gonna have to make a run for it soon. What I don't understand is still raining here well, like, we got blue skies now. So maybe if I wait a second, but who knows? I can't tell. <sighs> All this for wine. This is so worth it. <sighs> okay, here we go. <sighs> I don't even know how to get there. Yeah, I do. I put it on the maps. We got it. Well, the rain has stopped. I did walk in it. it wasn't terrible. Um, but I, I walked over to uh, Uniqlo and I ended up buying stuff. So Disney, you gotta love it. Make it rain and then I spend some money. <laughs> well, I had more time to kill and so I went to Gideon's. Why wouldn't I? It smells so good in here. Key lime pie chocolate chip, whoa. Look at these beautiful things. Oh. Yes, yes. Key lime pie, chocolate, what? And oh, pistachio toffee, I don't, I don't. And now I'm going into Wine Bar George. This is life, it's great. This is, I think, where I'm most happy. Wine Bar George, and look at this. Look at this corner, t corner table I got, view of Gideon's where I just was. <laughs> As you guys know, Wine Bar George is, is just an incredible place, obviously for the wine, but also they have just unbelievable food as well. Um, the wine list is unlike any other that you're gonna see. George, you know, he personally selects all these. And you can get these wines. You could try an ounce if you want. And that's what I love about here. I've done um, a bunch of videos about Wine Bar George. You can go check them out. Uh, I'll put the link here. But it's, this is my favorite restaurant in Disney World. This is it. So, I'm so happy I'm here. This is the wine list. Look how long it is. Wow. And here's what I was telling you guys can do, you know, by the ounce. One ounce. You, you, you know, you could have some really crazy stuff, but by the ounce. So the amazing thing here is that I just uh, told him, okay, I'm going to start with the burrata. And, and burrata is an Italian cheese, obviously. And he was like, well, you know, it's really tough to pair. I was like, I want to do reds, lighter reds. And he said, okay, well, I think this one would work really well, or this one. And so I was like, well, why don't we do both? And we do three ounces of each. This way, I could see what I like better. So we're getting two Italian wines, uh, one I've really never, ever heard of before. So this is really exciting. It's called a Norello Mascalese. I gotta Google this. Actually, Norello Mascalese. Italian, come on, Max, you're, you're, you're Italian, you got this. This is the wine I've never ever tried before in my life. Um, the Nerello Mascalese, and then this is a Chianti Classico. We got, yeah, a Sangiovese right here. Beauty, let's go. Cheers, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And uh, hey, thanks Wine Bar George for existing. Cheers. Well, that's really popping out of the glass. That is a stunning. <laughs> Get me to Sicily and, and show me these grapes, because, whoa, very similar to a Pinot here, but um, a fuller Pinot. That is great. Oh my goodness. Whoa, George, good job finding this one. It's very earthy. There's a lot of spice notes going on. There's even like a, like cinnamon, even. It, that is just, huh. Okay, I'm happy. This is the best burrata I've ever tasted in my life. Uh, I, it's so beautiful. <laughs> when I tell you the freshest ingredients, it, this that's what that's what this place is and has always been. <laughs> Incredible. The servers know their stuff so well. So if you have questions, speak up. And there's no dumb question when it comes to wine. Now, that's why I always tell people like 
There's really no dumb question. Wine's a little intimidating, but like this place makes it really approachable. That's what I've always tried to do for you guys too. Wine shouldn't be intimidating. It's it's delicious and fun, and everyone's got such a different palate. So it's no wrong answers. Okay, I got. I'm talking too much. I gotta eat. Short rib is here. Check it out. I mean, guys, look at this. Oh goodness, this smells unbelievable. <laughs> and we have another one to come here. Um, we're gonna get this guy, the Cirillo. Look how tender this is, guys. You don't, do you need a knife to cut this? No, because it just does that. I mean, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's insane, guys, it's insane. How are the mashed potatoes? <laughs> That's the best Brussels sprout I've ever had. What kind of magic goes on in this place? Exceptional. So this is my first time having the short rib here. So they have two options now that are not shared plates, short rib and there's a, a chicken. I'm sure the chicken's incredible too. I want the short rib tonight. Uh, but that's great because uh, the other big plates that we've got this, like the skirt steak, uh, the whole fish, uh, they're, they're unbelievable. But um, for a party of one, nah. Last time I was here, um, it was with Ali and Matt and Shannon and we did the giant skirt steak and uh it was great for a party of four um but to have two options now for uh you know just like a single serving it's awesome and you know the other options are incredible here too charcuterie boards the the, the cheese on fire of course that that's classic um the mac and cheese bites uh, it's just yeah, I, I love this place. It's dessert time, which means it's time actually for some key lime pie. Look at this. How beautiful is this key lime pie? Look at that. Oh yeah, I am very excited. You know, I... I I talk about the freshness of ingredients all the time, but this place takes it to the next level. Those are some fresh limes and that key lime pie. If I lived here, guys, I'd be here all the time. I don't know. You know what's amazing about this key lime pie is that it's not sweet, it's not too tart, it's just like fresh. Hard pressed to find me eat an entire dessert and look what I did. Exceptional, 10 out of 10, every single time here. I love this place so much. Honestly, just the best. This place is so special. Uh, <laughs> exceptional meal. Just uh, every single time the experience is un uh, unmatched. Unmatched. Thanks, wine bar, George. <laughs> That's it for my night. Uh, it has been another amazing day here in Walt Disney World. Animal Kingdom to wine bar, George. Nomad Lounge and Wine Bar George on the same day, we'll take it, right? Wow, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed everything. Have you been to Nomad? What are you waiting for? Have you been to Wine Bar George? Seriously, what are you waiting for? You need to go. Go. <laughs> go. I know many of you have been because you've seen me there and that's amazing. Uh, I love being able to give you some great tips on what to eat and drink here in Disney World. So, thanks so much for watching. Addendum, addendum to the video. <sighs> okay, what what am I doing? Where am I? The boardwalk? Yacht Club? Like a crazy person, I got on the bus at Disney Springs to try to make it into Epcot before it closed for like a little touch of Harmonious, because why not? I gotta see how the Magic Band Plus works, right? This is... I'm booking it. I don't know if I'm actually gonna make it. It's okay if I don't, because I'll just hop on the Skyliner uh, if I don't make it in. But uh, I gotta walk fast. Okay, bye. I can safely slow down as I am 
at the uh, International Gateway entrance, about to make it with 10 minutes to spare. <laughs> I thought this video was over in Disney Springs and then I was like, I think I want to go to Epcot. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Tune in to the uh, Magic Band Plus video I'm going to make to see how it works with Harmonious. I'm going to stand as close as I can to see Harmonious so I'm still at close to the exit because I got to get the Skyliner tonight. Back to pop. This is wild. Made it six minutes to spare. There was a line back there, so. But I made it in. Okay. It's hot. Maybe because I was walking fast, but uh, okay, I made it in. Harmonious time. <laughs> Just so I could leave in a few minutes. This is, these are the crazy things I do when I'm in Disney World, though. Oh, I love this place. Not only did I get here in time, but I got here also in time to get a passion slush martini in France. <laughs> this was only because Allie challenged me. She was like, now go get a passion slush martini in France. Never underestimate the speed of, of uh, Mr. Cheesy Pop. All right, now let's watch the show. There you go. There you go. I made it in here for harmonious. Look, I made it in for Harmonious. I took some video of this for the Magic Band Plus video. Got the Passion Martini. Guys, I did it all. Wow. This is an interesting view here. Between France and the UK, you can see stuff. So you do get some screen action here. I'm happy I came back to see this. And because I watched that show right by, in between France and the UK, my Skyliner is, boom, right here. Amazing. Wow, this is a really good night. Really good. <laughs> Skyliner is not boarding. Are you kidding? Now we can end this video. Whoa. Back in my room. That was Sunday. From Animal Kingdom to Disney Springs, Gideon's Wine Bar, George, over to Epcot. We did it. That is how you do it. Uh, it also helped I had a really good night's sleep. Even though I got up early, I, I, I went to bed early last night, so. Uh, I'm feeling good. Another day tomorrow, uh, and that's it. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Have a magical day, everybody. Bye.